Alright, back again. Sorry about that, guys. Once again, this cold is kicking my ass, so... Let us continue. Fourth day, it has been difficult to create effigies of the Auricular Sisters. They keep to themselves, rarely venturing outside. Impossible to get the hair and nail clippings I need, but I have an idea. If the sisters are linked even beyond death, then I can use the bones of their dead, dug from an abbey graveyard, to attune the auriculum to the minds of the living sisters. Twelfth day, it is done. Altafina and several others brought back a wagon full of coffins. I'll start the new effigies at once. Nineteenth day, still only faint voices. Nothing near the connection required to give them dreams. I must adjust the lenses, refine the effigies, sleep with their skulls beneath my blankets for a few nights more. Perhaps ingrate the scarves they use to cover their eyes. Integrate the scarves they use to cover their eyes. 21st day. Delilah is anxious about my progress, and yet there's not much to tell. I was able to interrupt several auricular sisters in conversation, leaving them momentarily at a loss for words. I'm confident that soon enough I'll be able to make them say whatever I wish. Then I'll have news for my Empress in Dunwall. 23rd day. At last. I held one of the sisters in a trance, like state for an hour. Delilah was ecstatic. Soon we will control the auricular order. So that's what all these bodies are. Man. Still full on that, huh? Well, there's nothing more in here that I need. Let's see if there's... Skulls. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. That is bad news, bears. <clears throat> Let's see what else I can accomplish here. Fascinating stuff. This thing is easy enough. Rock him lens 
socket. Actually, I could probably just... I wonder what happens if I just insert... I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna insert the lenses. Wait, something is wrong. I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing, they promised me to a man three times my age who breezed on about our wedding. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Hmm. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. Well, that's what I would have found if I had found that first. They're actively looking for me, but I think I've escaped the worst of it. So now I'm gonna make my way toward this hole. Reduces mana before health. Definitely worth a thought. Situational though, at best. The Foreign Curse. The Great Rat Plague, the Spreading Death, the Foreign Curse. These are names we give. Did we already read this? Let me test. No, we did not. So we will go ahead and read it. <clears throat> I'm glad it put it in there. Taking tens of thousands of lives as it spread across Crystal from home to home, town to town, preferring neither rich nor poor, the capital city of Dunwall suffered the most, settled both so thickly by both people and rats. Many people feared the plague would spread to Circonus. But even beyond the naval blockade affected at the time, several factories kept the sickness from reaching our shores. First, 
In Sarconis, the population of disease-carrying rats was kept in check by blood flies, natural enemies. Rats are known to feed on blood bl fly larvae, and fully mature blood flies lay their eggs in rats. Second, it is simply true that Sarconians are healthier than most, with the best foods, morning constitutionals, and a strong work ethic. We have some immunity to diseases that afflict, afflict less vibrant folk. Lastly, mining dust was found in trace amounts in Sarconis even during the time of Dunwall's Great Crisis, and that dust played a critical role. It is true that the plague was spread by rats, but some natural philosophers now believe it was also carried on wind currents. As such, we can be thankful that in addition to bringing us wealth from si silver, the mines also protected us from the greatest plague in living memory. Nice. Alright. Oh my gosh, now I can just go into the... Oh, that is awesome. collect it later. That's right, we're doing this the alternative way. Now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. Fairly well. What will I do now? I'm ruined. And feeling the things I could do. The touch of the voice. The larva. It was everything I had. <laughs> Goodbye. Leave me be. Leave me be. Leave me alone. Please, no. Leave me alone. Well, that'll take care of any... ...issues going into her office. At least in theory. I'm assuming the witchcraft she used is now rendered gone. Yes, yeah, so we already have that map. break anything now because I'm pretty sure I put all the witches to sleep. I remember how putting your hair up that way drove you mad and how <laughs> glad you were to take it down. It's 
so much rage. Yeah, I wonder how I miss seeing that. One fifty. Really? Okay, well that was slightly pointless. Howler dust. Yep, they are gone. Our unfinished letter to Delilah. <coughs> Delilah, when we can't talk, I write. There are things only you will understand. Daily, I feel my connection to the void growing, and through me, your power calls out to those who would join our coven. New faces, new voices. Our bond is stronger than it was at Brig Brigmore, yet you feel so far away. If we were together, I could say more. It is as if I can see beyond the air into another time or place. You have parted a curtain I never knew was there. Oh, Delilah, strange and beautiful whispers are carried in the breeze. I am forever grateful of being your instrument. Nope, not anymore. Done straightening up. Mistress Brianna. Like you asked, I stored your audio audiograph recordings in the archive down there in the basement, and I tidied up around the auriculum, just as you asked. Some of the others were talking about the old lenses you took out of that auriculum device after the accident, saying they were going to bury them lenses forever at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that didn't sound right to me, so I just stored them in the effigies workshop in case you find them some use. All my other chores are done, so I'll prepare your leech thistle, leche thistle tea. I'm grateful for the second chance you've given me. I'm sure over time I'll feel Delilah's presence and learn magic like my coven sisters. Please don't cast me out. I'll make you and Empress Delilah proud. I promise. Karina. Proposal from Curator Hayden To Brianna Ashworth, Curator of the Royal Conservatory, although we have never met, we share occupations overseeing cultural artifacts and historical oddities. You and Sirconis and me and Morley, I have heard much about you and have long admired the stories regarding your exhibits. To the matter at hand, I propose an artistic exchange. At the Morley Gallery of History and Sculpture, we have works by many of the greats, including Anton Skoglov himself. Additionally, we have many unearthed items of a much unusual quality, which never fail to amuse and bewilder the public. We would like to broaden our coverage to that end. Would you be interested in exchange? I am particularly eager, eager to get my hands on some of your own works and your conservatory's collection Mechanized Fauna, in high hopes, Finley Hayden, Curator, Morley Gallery of History and Sculpture. Well, I doubt that's going to happen now. Oh, sweet. A life potion. Fires burn within Brianna's marrow. Sweet. 
all gone. Zirconian grapes. Everywhere. A rune. And a sleep dart. Wow. Let's see what powers I can try to get. I have two runes. Let's do that. one I get. Will be awesome. Have I gotten them all? Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few hours. Yep. Everything all taken care of. Oh, hello. Broken whale shard bone. Now that's interesting. Alright. And of course I'm going to take that rose burl. Thingamajigger. I have a feeling I may just want to grab it before I do something like that. I have a feeling ugly, ugly things will happen. gonna see screw that door I literally just do not care out now. A rotten Tibian pear. Maybe we do need to. Nice. Yep, audio 
photographs. Yep, we took care of that. We didn't need to do that. We found it. So escape. I have a feeling this is not going to be as easy as I hoped it would be. But I mean, obviously, you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Delilah. Cause I mean, I just got can't go through all that and not have a little mockage. Here we go. As if you could ever hide your face from the <clears throat> royal protector. I see you there, back in the city that spawned you. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. This is only the start. You've pissed all over everything, but you'll pay for it. Oh, Brianna, I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing, it's too much to bear. I hate you for this, Corvo Atano. I wonder, if you didn't have hate, Delilah, what would you have? Indeed. Curious. What are my stats? Yes. I didn't kill anyone. Therein lies a problem. All the guards were missing. Nothing in here. 
but... Oh. Oh. I thought that was something. Nope. Alright, I'm arguably going to do something stupid now. And go out the front door. All too easy. Great, more reinforcements. Down you go. feeling it wasn't going to let me have it that easy. And I don't even have anything to loot. you look around. I'll be white! 
Wipe it off your blood later. Bad move. Come on. My <clears throat> Ow. I've got just God thing. damn it. That hurt. Oh, thank God it's going so quick. I spoke too soon. Oh, nope. It actually went quick. Holy crap, that was a great start. Where the hell am I? You have got to be kidding me. Does it even remember me going to talking to Delilah? Uh, I guess I have to go check it out. Oh, don't do it yet. Yeah, we already inspected that. Really? <clears throat> As if you could ever hide your face from me, Royal Protector. I see you there, back in the city that spawned you. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. This is only the start. You've pissed all over everything, but you'll pay for it. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, Corvo Atano. I wonder, if you didn't have hate, Delilah, what would you have? Indeed. Had to do it, guys. Had to do it. some things we did find out. Bypass the soldiers, at least on that front. <clears throat> they didn't have anything good to loot anyway. Uh, are you coming tonight? Nah, not this time.
There's just plain and simply no way of doing it. Sunny, not today. Could have sworn there was a side entrance. Maybe I'm just crazy. Alright, 
a week. Welcome, welcome. Have you heard? I'm told they robbed one of our shops. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Nice. What a pleasant surprise to see you again. Fire bolts at a high rate, semi-automatic yeah. firing. That sucks. Alright. Well, we do need to replenish stuff. <coughs> Plenty of money. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. An excellent choice. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. I'll take it. The district is so quiet since the conservatory was closed. Time to get the hell out of here.